is she? She is an international woman of mystery. No one knows who she is. Surprise. It's me, Julian. Bet you didn't see that coming here on my channel. Today we're going to do something a little different, but what else is new? I'm always doing weird stuff here on this channel. I can never seem to make up my mind what this channel is supposed to be. So today I thought it would be fun to go through and rank my mask collection. What with the plague that is still plaguing our nation, I have decided that it helps me get over my own mask anxiety a little bit if I try to show off my style in the masks that I buy. And so I have amassed, or should I say amasked, a few. <laughs> And I thought it'd be fun to go through, look at them, talk about their various features and downfalls. And I have to do it quickly before my cats show up and lay on the masks and cover them in cat hair. Jane is inching closer. He wants to lay on this pile of masks so badly. You don't understand. First I'm going to kind of go through them in chronological order that I got them in. Which means we start with this one. And this is one of the first ones. Just like thrown together emergency mask that I think my in-laws made. No! It does have a little piece of wire in the nose, which actually I think feeling it is pipe cleaner because beggars cannot be choosers. It is over the ears, which actually I like over the ears, possibly because I have such big ears as though they're meant for holding masks on. And it is pretty comfortable to wear. If you're somebody like me that doesn't like a lot of like touching on your face, it the light material does make it feel like it's less intrusive. And this this will do in a pinch. This is an, a quick emergency mask, throw it, I need a mask, throw it on. When I realized that this pandemic wasn't going away in a couple months, I went on Etsy in search of the perfect mask. But first, I needed something to replace this one. There was also another mask in there that was made by a friend of ours, but I've lost it because I'm a bad person. So I went on Etsy and I found someone who was making masks that I could get quickly and they're just, you know, whatever fabric you get, you get. And they're, but they are kind of like feminine and very simple and easy. There is a wire for the nose, which I like. I like a wire nose piece. As you can see, this one is a bit like bigger overall and the fabric is thicker. So you definitely feel it on your face more, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna slip or slide or fall off at any point. It feels very secure. As far as like the feeling of wearing a mask goes, this one might actually be my favorite because it feels like it's staying on. It feels substantial. Again, it's over the ears. The only problem with it is that I don't like that it's kind of a little bit big for my face and it just kind of drowns out my whole face. I know. Who wants to look at my face anyway? But it is a great mask for, I wear this like shopping. So I usually keep it in my vehicle and just have it handy. But then I started to realize that masks could be fashion. And I went on Etsy to see if I could find a mask that spoke to me a little bit more. And an artist that I found was Can't Stop Good Boy, who has this Snoopy giving the finger. And Snoopy giving the finger really is kind of my aesthetic, I'm not gonna lie. The mask is very flexible and soft on the inside. It's, it is kind of reversible, like it says don't fuck with me on this side. So it really, this expresses my personality really aggressively. And I wear this to some rallies if there's not going to be kids. And places where I just want my like salty, angry personality to shine through. The only problem with this one is it was one size fits all, so it's big. And so I had to use a shoelace here and a little toggle on it to tie it in the back, turn it into a mask that ties in the back instead of one that really goes over my ears because it's too big and it hangs too loose on me if I just wear it with the ear pieces. The string in the back though does allow me to tighten it nicely. It is fairly comfortable to wear, though I will say as someone with the sensory issues about things like on my face, this one touches my face the most of any of them. I do still like to wear it to rallies and such, but it is like very close into my face because it is like tied in the back. And also I can let it dangle around my neck like this, it's really nice for that, so like I'm at a rally, I'm done, I get in my car and I can just let it hang. And finally, the one that I got most recently that is my go-to mask for pretty much everything now. 
is my N7 mask. This was actually made in Italy. I didn't realize it when I was ordering it on Etsy, but it's all the way from Italy. And I knew the moment I saw it, I had to have it. It took a really long time for it to get here, but I'm so excited to have it because for me personally, because I'm such a fan of Mass Effect, wearing something with an N7, I even have it tattooed on my body, makes me feel stronger. It just makes me feel more confident to have an N7. And so to have it on a mask when I have anxiety about wearing masks sometimes is really encouraging. And I can, if I'm feeling anxious, I can remember I have an N7. The creator of this mask did have women's and men's sizes, so it fits really well. Again, it's over the ear, my preferred style. It does have a little bit of space up here by the nose, which means my glasses do steam up sometimes, like they're doing a little bit right now. If I'm just existing and not talking like this, so actively, it doesn't, it's not a problem. There is no wire nose piece, and that is like the main downside for this one. I might try to put a wire nose piece in, myself, but I am not good at like anything sewing or arts and crafts, but I wear this one a lot. I wear this one like into stores. I, I wear this one, I've worn it to some rallies. I wear this one pretty much everywhere. It's like, this is my confidence booster. I wish it stayed on my nose a little better, but otherwise it's pretty good. Now let's rank them. At the bottom of the list, of course, we got to have Mr. Simple here. It's utilitarian, it works in a pinch, but it's not great. It's The stitching is already starting to come loose, it's very simple. Then next, this might surprise some folks, we have Can't Stop Good Boy mask here, I think because it does touch my face a lot and because it's not completely sized perfectly for me. I still do enjoy wearing it, but I can't wear it everywhere, so I think this one definitely is in the second spot. Next, of course, we have this one being my favorite for comfort. It is definitely the most comfortable of the masks and the one that I physically enjoy wearing just for the way it feels on my face the most. And finally, we have our N7 in the top spot. Because it is N7, because it fits me pretty well, definitely in the top, but you guys, I forgot because it just came yesterday and I had it in the wash. I also wanted to talk to you about this mask, which I just got from Redbubble because Redbubble is making masks now. And this has one of my designs on it. It's a LARPing design, Fight Like a Girl. I'm gonna try it on for the first time right now. Okay. It's a little big, so I might have to do like I did with the Good Boy one and put a tie on the back of it. What do you guys think? Like I said, a little bit big. It is a light material, so I like that. There's no nose piece. I was hoping maybe to make this one the one I wear around work, because I'm trying to find one that's comfortable to, to work hard in, and the cloth masks, you know, are kind of warm. The fabric is very, it's like a soft, cozy fabric, but it's thin enough so you can still breathe through it. It's, the sewing is very simple, it's just sewn on, nothing fancy. Honestly, I think the sewing job is better with some of these handmade masks from Etsy than it is in this one from Redbubble, but they are mass produced. I do like having my design on it, it's a great addition to my collection. Having just tried it on now though, I think I am going to put it above, above this guy, but below Good Boy, just because it, it's got some flaws in the way that it fits. But, I do love having a mask with my own design on it. So I actually filmed this mask reviewing video a little while ago and I've been wearing my mask from Redbubble to work pretty much every day and working in it, it does still get pretty hot, but I did use the shoelace method and that's gotten it to fit pretty well. So it is pretty comfortable and I've gotten pretty used to it. So honestly, I think I would put it slightly above my good boy mask at this point because I have been just wearing it more and getting used to it. But it does hug my face maybe a little bit more than I'd like, and it can still get pretty warm when I'm doing physical hard work. There you go, guys. That was my mask collection ranked. I hope this video was enjoyable to, like, at least two or three people. Like, I'll be honest, a lot of people don't watch any of my videos, so basically I just do whatever the fuck I want, and it works out. So that's where we are. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you are out there finding masks that work for you. There are so many varieties to try, so if you tried one and you don't like it, you can try something else. 
Normally on my channel I do bookish and writerly things for the most part until I decide to depart from that drastically and do something like this. But new videos come out every Monday and Friday as well as exclusive videos that you can only see if you are my patron over on Patreon, so go check that out if you're interested. All the links to my social media are down in the doobly-doo for ease of your clicking, and I will see all of you again next time with whatever it is I happen to be doing next time. Bye! Why yes, I am going to tell you all about my patrons. My patrons like Ray, Artemis, Shelby, Zaire, Jesper, Ryakio, Irene, Scribbling Cat, Savvy, Jenny, Amanda, Lisa, Callison, and Lennox. Have you ever heard of a better collection of patrons? Of course you haven't. Mine are the best. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things.